Hi, today we will learn how to use Excel for uh, reporting, create report generation of a school. Uh, in this test scenario, uh, we have records of around 250-260 students and we have the student ID number and department and its performance grading. Like this school, I have the performance grading from 1 to 5. If it is very brilliant, then they will give the grading 5. And is very poor, they will give the rating 1. Okay. So, for each department, there are many students. And these are the data actually. There are many departments involved. Okay. So, the, this is the test data. I, I think that we have around 250 students in this list. Okay. So, let me explain the scenario. Okay, we want to create a line chart from the available data of a school where the performance of all the students are available in Excel sheets. Okay, this will enable the school to measure the performance of the de uh, department wise and also performance overall. Okay, so for this we are going to use a tool called pivot table in Excel. Pivot table means it is for uh, which is a great way to summarize analyze and explore and also to present your data in a nice way but there are two conditions one thing you always you should have a column adding in your data I mean, for example in our case we have adding this is our adding okay and also we should not have there should not be any blank rows means if you have one blank row here like this for example your pivot table will not work these are the two conditions we should make sure there is no blank rows and also there is an heading. Okay, now let's go with our first task. So our first task, okay, we want to create a percentage performance of each department with get uh, grading like from one to five. Okay, so this is our this one. So for uh, to achieve this task, okay, here in the one row, one column, you will have all the departments and the other like you have gradings one grade one two three four five this is a performance grading like okay the so different categories so for each one you want to know the how many percentage of total students in that class so let's go here okay now just go to insert click pivot table okay now it is asking the range so what you have to do is click this one you select the whole range of students you see now we have around 267 student okay then you press enter okay now it will ask choose where you want to the pivot re table report to be placed you click new worksheet okay so so it's here now okay so in this one it is showing all the available table fields like for example in the table we have serial number ID number, department rating. But for, for this report, we are concerned only of the department as on, and the gradings. Okay. So for that reason, we will select only. We are not worried of the student details or who is the student at all. So we'll just select the department and its rating. Okay. So we selected th these two uh, table uh, columns. Okay. Now our job is like you see now you you will see all the departments here summaries and also it is showing the sum of ratings we don't want this one actually our requirement is we want you see the rating should be here and you see now what happens is like it is showing the I put, I put the row I put the department so it is here and in the columns box I drag the rating okay so this shows for example algebra there are eight students with grade one performance grade one 10 students with performance grade two so this finish up to this stage now okay but here we want for example we don't want some actually this is showing how many students are there actually total in this uh, this one so but our job is we want it in the percentage wise for example we want to know like for example in this 98 students 8 out of 98 8 are in the grade 1 performs grade 1 but we want to show it in the percentage wise so go here show value as percentage of total row so yeah here it goes so it's now it's showing everything in the percentage wise so this is our first task okay so this is the creation of uh, percentage performance of each department with category 1 to 5
okay so it's very simple it just take only three clicks okay now imagine we want we have another second task okay that is to create performance of group of departments like biology chemistry physics math and uh, okay so you see in this we have the performance rating for the whole all the department but your uh, task is you want only for the three departments like biology physics mathematics so for that what you should do is you just take the department and put it into this filters okay now if you put the filter what it will show you do is it will group the entire records by all for all departments but you don't want that you want only for example if you want only for algebra you can select algebra and take this one it will show only for the performance of the algebra or if you want to show the performance of like multiple like for example i want to see biology chemistry physics and mathematics okay so i can take this department then it will show the performance of only for those group of departments okay this is the performance for that group okay so that is my task number 2 or oh, now my task number 3 is i want to see the performance of the entire school for all the departments so i go here and i select all press okay so this is the performance of the entire school and it is categorized by the performance grade okay now my another task i want to create chart for all the above uh, data so let me go back like i don't want this one the department here actually i want department like this okay so i want a chart for this one so what i should do is click anywhere here go to the pivot chart okay i press here so it last is the way you want the data i just click this one select okay so you can resize so this will show the complete data with different departments and its percentage cycle okay this is one way now for example you want to repeat the same thing only for the few departments for example i'll just select the department here i just drag the department the filtering and i want to make it for the three departments for example any three department you take and it will take the, this is the performance for the three departments which you have selected this is for grouping or if you don't want like this you can go here again you can play with it you want to change the chart style you can go here and you can do it like whatever chart you chart you want you can play with it okay i think this is very simple and this will save a lot of time for you because if you want to do this using any equation or formula it will take at least 2 3 to 4 hours but this task you can achieve in maximum 2 to 3 minutes hope you enjoy this tutorial have a great day bye thank you